36 right now, and shelters across the state are seeing an increase of homelessness coming out of this pandemic. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Dillingham with more details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, we've been talking about this issue throughout Wake Up Today, and here joining us on the show, we have Lama Chang with Family Promise of Hawaii. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Yes, thank you. Mahalo for coming. Yes, and, and as far as everything that we've been discussing today, how is it like for you to just be working with these families and just hearing the different hardships that they're telling you? Sure. Um, so what have I, I've experienced over the past two years being a part of Family Promise is these are hardworking people. Um, they you know, just can't make ends meet yeah. and they're really trying to have a secure location for their families, you know, for consistency and just daily living. Um, so a lot of times, especially with the pandemic, um, you know, work shortages were happening and all these different various high costs of living mm -hmm. um, added to the fact of them slowly transitioning into homelessness. And yeah. a lot of times what I'm seeing is that a lot of them are new to homelessness mm -hmm. um, and maybe not like those that you see you know, in the bridges, but mm -hmm. couch surfing and uh, living in their cars and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And, and looking back at the last six months, things were just completely different as far as the inflation we're seeing currently right now right. and all these other factors that played a part in this. But I know government funding is also a key role in this. So where is it, where does it stand right now? Correct, yeah. So with the pandemic, we had an excessive amount of CARES funding mm -hmm. um, provided to us and that had helped us a lot through the pandemic mm -hmm. and like securing homes for them and providing them essential items and whatever throughout the pandemic. However, um, that's slowly decreasing and now we're really trying to lean on our community and um, individual donations, donors to help support our network of um, services that we provide to our yeah. families. Giving back to our community. And I know some businesses have recently re uh, reached out to you all and they provide these diaper bags for some yes. moms. So tell us a little bit, a bit the story behind this. this yeah, really so nice. we work with tons of different community um, agencies, corporate uh, corporations and whatnot that want to give back and they create either welcome home baskets or, you know, for new mommies, um, kits mm -hmm. just so that they can feel this is sweet yeah mm -hmm. feel like they're home with their newborn and they have the basic necessities to get by mm -hmm. and also that feeling of just being noticed and being taken care of right. and that means a lot especially families right now who are experiencing the hardships and any businesses who are willing to donate any of their services or products just like this make sure to check out familypromisehawaii.org and we'll be getting into the spaces that are still available for those programs yes. in the next half hour. Yeah, so to be eligible, initial eligibility to our programs is you have to have a, a child in your custody um, and then there's other criteria but you know feel free to call us and we can make those connections and if we're not the perfect fit for you we can help you find other people yeah. yeah and that's where it all starts too is just having that conversation also the courage too because I know it does take a little bit of that inner strength to really just ask for help sometimes yes. even though it's okay to ask for help absolutely yeah well thank you so much Lama for your time I really Mahalo. appreciate your time and if you want more information to the resources that we've been covering check our website at khwin2.com you can find them there today reporting out here at the scene Dallas Navarro's khwin2 news working for Hawaii it's a great resource. Thank you so much, Dallas. Coming up next, we're working for Hawaii.